Nothing more festive than a glass of wine shared with family and friends during the holiday season. With Thanksgiving, holiday and New Year's Eve parties ahead, choosing the right wine can be intimidating. With 40 years of Sonoma winemaking experience under his family's belt, Chris Benzinger uh, knows a thing or two about choosing the best wines for any occasion, and he joins us now. So hey man, when it comes to choosing wine for the holidays, <laughs> whether it's to serve or as a hostess gift, some people don't know where to start. So what are some of the tips to make it easy for us? All right, first of all, uh, first of all, how you doing, buddy? I hope you're doing well. Um, you're never going to go wrong with a bottle of wine. You know, everyone's going to love you. And guess what? It's going to get used, too. Um, you'll always be welcome back. But the biggest thing about wine is whether it's a inexpensive one from the local grocery store or maybe something that's vintage specific for your more wine aficionados, um, you're going to find a wine. The trick is to find that crowd pleaser that's not going to bust the piggy bank. That's what I love about the tribute wines. They literally taste like a $50 bottle of wine but they're only gonna set you back about 15 bucks. That's what you want. And I guarantee the host is gonna love it, the company's gonna love it, even your in-laws are gonna love it. Excellent, okay, so how did your family inspire Tribute Wines? So uh, I come from a long line in the wine business. My grandfather was a bootlegger, honest to God. Uh, my dad was an importer. I'm the youngest of seven. I got four other brothers and two sisters. They owned a few liquor stores back in New York. But in the early 70s, the entire clan, 13 of us, moved from New York City all the way out to the wilds of Sonoma, California in 1979. And we were right at the kind of the, uh, the early days of the California wine renaissance. And we've been making wine for 40 years. But unfortunately, time marches on, right? My parents passed away. I lost a brother. Um, and I wanted to do something to celebrate all those great stories, that great adventure uh, that we had of starting this winery to share with that next generation. I got 19 nieces and nephews coming up through the wine business, and I wanted to do something to share uh, that great adventure with them. And so I came up with this idea of tribute. Um, it was very nostalgic, kind of this celebration of the family, a tribute to my family. That is a very, very cool story. Thank you so much for sharing this, but that is very, very neat. I love that you guys have all your nieces and nephews coming up and doing that kind of stuff. All right, so what, what are your tips for pairing, you know, food and wine? What you got for us? Okay, so, so let's just go with the four uh, basic varieties. Like Sauvignon Blanc, one of my personal favorites, that is a white wine that goes with just about everything because it's got that great acid backbone. So with your cheeses, uh, any kind of seafood dish down in Florida, this is like the perfect Floridian wine. Um, uh, and also Asian cuisine it goes great with. Or just sitting on the patio, uh, having a glass of, of a nice chilled Sauvignon Blanc is perfect. And then Chardonnay. Chardonnay is lovely because it's got a little bit more winemaking to it, so it's got this creaminess. You want to pair that with like your, your creamier dishes like fettuccine alfredo, or it's a perfect uh, one to go with chicken. And Pinot Noir, one of my personal favorite uh, varietals, I love Pinot because it's got good acid, but more importantly, it's got light tannins. And that goes so well with pizza, with any kind of a pork tenderloin or salmon maybe. It's wonderful. And then Cabernet is the king, and that goes with all your meatier dishes, your steaks, your chops. But my favorite thing about Cabernet is to have a glass after dinner when you're all sitting around. We used to call it Cabernet Confessions in my family, and that's when all the juicy stories were told. <laughs> <laughs> Cabernet Confessions, I like that. And I'm a pizza guy, so I'll have to remember to that's pair that right. Pinot Noir with that pizza, so that's really cool. Okay, so there's a bunch of holiday parties that are coming up for most of us, so what's a really good crowd pleaser? What's that wine that I need to bring to the party? Okay, so two of them. If you, uh, I would always bring a red and a white, okay? You're never gonna go wrong with those two. And these two right next to me, the Tribute Sauvignon Blanc is perfect. It's, uh, it's got that, like I said, that acid backbone and people are gonna love it and they're gonna wanna know where you got it because they're gonna go and get some. And then the Tribute Cabernet, this is from Paso Robles. It's awesome. It drinks like a $50 bottle of wine um, and I guarantee you'll be invited back if you bring a bottle of Tribute. <laughs> That's excellent advice. Thank you very much. It's a good idea. Bring a red and a white. You guys, a little bit of something for everybody. Chris, thank you so very much for joining us today. I really appreciate your time. And guys, you know all you have to do is head to our website if you want to watch this segment again.